Hi Aquarius, welcome. This is going to be a reading regarding your person's feelings towards you. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. And this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. Feel free to check your other placements if it doesn't. How do they feel about Aquarius? How are they feeling about Aquarius? Okay, all right. So we have soulmate and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And yes, this is your soulmate. I see that this person feels like you are their soulmate. It's either they feel like you're worth waiting for or you're waiting for them. All right, let's see what else. Healing family issues. You love life benefits as you forgive your parents. There could just be issues from the past with this person. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. This person wants to give it a chance. That's why they're waiting. They feel like it's worth waiting for. They, th they feel like it's worth giving a chance because they feel you're their soulmate. So I feel like they're willing to work on issues and they might be, I'm feeling like they're working on their own personal, their own personal issues first. So I feel like they're starting with themselves here. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel like some of you have been kind of, you know, focusing on you and living in the moment, which is what does attract things to you. When you let go and you just let things be, that's when things come to you. So this, this is a good action. Basically, if you have been doing this, this will help your situation a lot if you just let go and do you. So let's see what energies you're dealing with. Sagittarius. Aquarius, fellow Aquarius, and Gemini. So, hmm, wow, okay. Cancer, Mars, and Taurus. Well, wow, a lot of signs came out. This is Aries energy with Mars. Can be Scorpio as well. But... Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, and Taurus. Those are the signs that came up. More signs will come out with these. Some of you are dealing with one or a few of these signs, meaning placements in their charts. Okay, like Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Let's see what else we have. How do they feel about Aquarius? Current feelings towards Aquarius. Triumph and success. This is, yeah, you see, this is them wanting a new beginning after things went really bad. We have material harvest, nine of pentacles. So right now I'm seeing that for a lot of you, there has been a separation or this person is just feeling single right now, like they're just doing their own thing, working on themselves. We have fulfillment of wishes. So we've got two nines. Temptation and awareness. This is the devil card. So this is a, a Capricorn energy. And we have the fool, which is new beginnings. No, it's not the fool, sorry. It's the magician, which is still new beginnings. It's still number one, but it's awareness. So it's a new beginning, but I feel like they're trying to, to create this new beginning since it's the magician. So with attraction and this awareness card, this person might be trying to manifest you back or, you know, they could be just attracting you back just naturally with the way how attraction works by letting go. So maybe since you guys have kind of let go or are doing your own thing and they are also doing their own thing, both of you might be kind of attracting each other back. Okay, so we have emotional withdrawal, the Eight of Cups. This tells me that... There is separation, but there will be a reconnection here because the Eight of Cups is leaving, knowing that you're going to return. So basically taking a break. How do they feel about Aquarius? How are they feeling towards Aquarius? Their feelings towards Aquarius. Nine of 
Pentacles again. This is all good. See, there's that, that Ace of Swords. This person really wants a new start here. They believe that this is that this deserves a chance. Okay, so we have Aries energy as well. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And Gemma Libra Aquarius. Okay, we have all the signs basically. But anyways, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. They are very like appreciative of this relationship. They value this connection with the Queen of Pentacles. They could also be focusing on money right now, their financial situation, trying to um, take care of themselves financially because we have the Nine of Pentacles here, as was well blocking. So this person is kind of focusing on making sure that they are good financially. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune as how they feel about you. This is very positive. The feelings might be quite changy at times. Like I'm hearing like on different days, it's a different feeling. I don't feel like it's extreme like love and hate, but it's more like just kind of up and down. They're kind of going through some, oops, what the hell? going through some motions okay so the overall the overall energy was the king of swords and we have now the knight of pentacles we'll get to that but we have the queen of cups is how they see this relationship some of you may have water in your chart or they do we do have cancer here but they see this as a very deep emotional connection one that is very spiritual as well with this queen of cups we have this ace of wands that's how they view you so for some of you they want a new start for some of you this this relationship is fairly new already and they and you guys may have just kind of drifted apart a little bit could be to do with situation that's going on right now in the world it's one or one or the other to be honest but either way this person wants a new beginning Okay, they have a fear of coming forward and expressing their feelings though with this Knight of Cups being in the position of their fears. They're a little bit afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve. Maybe they've done this in the past and got hurt. We have the Five of Cups here as their wishes. So I feel like this person kind of wants to <sighs> mope around a little bit. Like, you know, sometimes you just want to be miserable and not have anyone make you laugh and ruin it this person kind of wants to go through their emotions properly which is good it sounds negative but it is good because they're not drowning their emotions with substances they're not running from their emotions they are facing them so you know when you like cry things out this person is facing their emotions feeling what they need to feel in order to move forward we have the Emperor. I was going to call him the Empress just now. We have the Emperor. Um, this is their next move. So I feel like they're really trying to get control. I feel like this is in every area, financial and with this relationship. They're trying to get back control of everything, get control of their emotions get control of their finances, like they need to get back on top of their game and this is what they're working on. And in the position of what you need to know is the page of one. So there is gonna be action taken towards you. There's gonna be communication, the page of, the pages are messages. So there will be communication for sure because you know we have worth waiting for and give your relationship a chance. So I feel like this has taken a little while because of what they have going on, especially since this Knight of Pentacles decided to show up to let me know that it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, but the fact is the Ace of Swords is here twice. So this tells me that they do want to give this relationship a chance. This is a relationship that may have went a little bit sour and now it's now they, they want to they have it in their mind to make a move, right? So with the devil card, this person, I feel like, I feel like they're becoming aware of some, well, for some of you, this person is becoming aware of some codependent 
behaviors of theirs, especially when I look at this Knight of Cups, them not wanting to wear their heart on their sleeve, them not wanting to become overly attached like they may have in the past with exes. They kind of want to work on their own issues. That's the thing, like healing their issues. That's why healing family issues is here. They may have some childhood issues they want to work on before getting into a relationship or getting back into this relationship. They may have noticed their behaviors um, affected the situation. So now it's like time to work on those things. And I feel like they want to take as long as it takes. So I don't know how long this will take, but at least it's happening. So let's clarify some things. Wheel of Fortune. Why the Wheel of Fortune? We have Temperance. Sagittarius energy again. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, their emotions are up and down about you. There could have been some pain in the past. Either you had them in a third party situation or they had you in one or they just felt hurt about something. But they're trying to heal. This, prob this three of swords could probably not even be your fault. Maybe it's the pain that their exes have caused them or their childhood caused them. And this has their emotions up and down and changey. And that's what they want to work on. So why is the Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups. Okay. Some of you, it could have been a thing where there were multiple options. Could have been with you or them. But I feel like they see this relationship as an emotional threat or roller coaster. It affects their emotions a lot, this relationship does. So I feel like that's what they want to work on. I feel like maybe you bring out something in them emotionally, like some negative emotions that they don't want to feel. Um, it doesn't mean that you trigger this or that you're a bad person. It just means that their response to this has to do with their childhood and they may not have a healthy response to certain things and they want to heal that and fix that. So let's see what this Ace of Wands is about. Ace of Wands. Got cancer energy again. Some of you, they may feel like you might be moving on from them and not willing to work on the relationship, not wanting to move forward with them. They, This Ace of Wands could be them seeing you as moving on to someone new. So that's kind of tough for them, but it's, it could be that they assume that you're moving on to someone new. I feel like they're seeing you as unwilling to work on the connection um, or at least maybe that's the the impression that you're giving them is that you're not not well not willing to work on things like just moving on you know so this five of cups five of cups yes you see the knight of cups in reverse you see the knight of cups is here as their fears, they don't want to be giving their heart, you know, they, they may have some insecurities with this Empress being in reverse here as well. I feel like they're kind of just wallowing in their insecurities, their pain, their sadness. They're kind of being a, they're kind of being a victim right now. I'm not saying that you, not, not in the way where they're blaming you for things, but they're just kind of feeling sorry for themselves right now. It's almost like, uh, it's like a de the depression. If you ever dealt with depression, you know that you start to remember every single bad thing that's ever happened to you and you cry about it. I feel like this is what this person's doing, which it's good to cry these things out. So not that they're actually crying but right now they're kind of just reflecting on their pain but the good thing is that i feel like they want to heal from it so it's almost i'm hearing like one last 
like one last time reflecting on the pain before they work on it and actually get help or work on it themselves. So this is like the last straw for them when it comes to their past. Um, the page of wands. Page ones, you see this person, they're, they're looking out like it's in their mind to reach out. They are considering it, they're contemplating it. So he's got the world in his hand. This is like social media, the internet, the world wide web. Um, so contemplating that communication. But we have the eight of swords in reverse. It's becoming clearer to them what they want, but it's not 100% clear yet because they still have so much to work on. We have the Emperor again, so it could be an Aries, but they are focusing on getting back in control. Like It's becoming clear to them how they can gain back control of their life if they just work on themselves and heal. So I feel like that's their goal right now. The Ace of Swords devil okay it could be a capricorn we got the devil twice this person may have had some toxic behaviors because of their past they may have been in the hermit mode for a while they could be a virgo for some of you it could be taurus um but we have Antum leo energy but they want i feel like they want the best they want to have that relationship with you but then this devil this toxic energy, this, you know, this, this monster that they can't control. And I feel like that's what a lot of people with issues from the past have, childhood issues. It's like, it's like a monster that, that they can't control. It's like they want to have normal, healthy relationships, but then they can't control jealousy. They can't control feelings of emptiness. They can't control the depression, you know, because of these childhood wounds or past relationships where trust was betrayed, trust was broken. So it's hard for them, you know, it's like they want to work on it, but it's hard. It's hard for them to be that perfect person or at least that close to perfect person where they can have a healthy relationship, be a good person, you know, like emotions for people with these kinds of issues are really overwhelming. And it's like they fear that they'll give their all and then they'll get hurt. All right, so let me look at this person's feelings a little bit more. We have Sagittarius energy twice, Aries energy twice, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer. Okay. My feelings towards Aquarius. How they feel about Aquarius? Okay. Wow. It's a lot of swords, and it's the high numbers: nine, eight, and six. So they're coming out of anxiety. They're, they're trying to come out of it, out of anxiety and out of this stuck energy, being stuck in their head and move forward to a positive outcome, move from these rough waters to this smooth, healthy type of relationship. But it takes work. That's the thing. It takes a lot of work. How are they viewing Aquarius? Oh boy. That's a four of pentacles, which means they feel you're holding back. How are they viewing Aquarius? Yep. They feel you're guarded, you're holding back. They know you want an apology. They kind of see you as having it all, being happy. Even if you're not, that's just how they see you. I feel like they feel that you're not gonna budge until you get an apology, that things are not gonna get back to normal until 
you receive an apology until things are clear to you that it's going to be what you want it to be. All right, so let me get some info for Aquarius. Surrender to the divine. Balance spirituality and practicality. A win-win forecast. Sorry, a win-win outcome is forecast. So balance. Again, surrendering, letting go and doing you helps this connection a lot. This makes them realize what they could lose if you're not chasing them. Okay, we have have faith in your dreams. So I feel like if you do wish for this person to improve, it's very possible, but the main thing is to not enable this person because that will make them feel like they don't have to change if you're enabling them or taking them back too easily, you know? So let's see. Here. new choices bring new results some of you you may have other options you may have new options either coming to you or they're already here we have all i desire is on the way to me is on its way to me so i feel abundant and live a rich life now so some of you may have moved on to someone who makes you happier. This could be abundance in love, or you could have someone coming towards you like this, but I feel like this could be why they feel, if you, if you are moving on or you are just looking for new love, this could be why they feel that you are not really open to them anymore. So we have setbacks do not define me. They nudge me into a new awareness. So I see that you guys have learned a lot from this connection. Some of you may be wanting this back. Some of you may be moving on, may have learned lessons and feel like, yep, I'm done. New love, which is good. But mainly this person, they, they have issues they need to work on and that can involve you because you like they would feel like they don't have to work on themselves if they already have you there's no prize at the end if they already have you so i'd leave them to do the work because they're realizing that their behavior is not working for them so they need to keep knowing that until they fully heal all right so aquarius this is what i'm seeing for you this is how they feel. If this didn't quite resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements to see what else is going on with your person. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and thank you for watching.